A family member 34M just confessed to me 25F that he has been in love with me for years. Please, I need advice on what to do next. I 25F had been staying with my distantly related cousin 34M, second cousins for a few months. I left my original hometown to get away for a while after a hard breakup and my cousin popped into my head as someone I could stay with. He's always been a close friend to me since I was little, and I truly only started really acknowledging him as my cousin recently. Beforehand, I had always called him a friend, because we met as friends first when I was eight ninths, and he became good friends with both me and my older sister. It was only revealed that we were related a few years after we had met. A little background on our friendship. He's always been someone that I could rely on. He was a socially awkward guy, and I was a weird girl, so despite our age difference, we got along well. He was really close friends with my sister as well, so we would all hang out together from time to time. I always felt like I could be myself around him, and I never really felt weird. My family never had a problem with him either, whether it was me hanging out with him or going to stay with him recently. But I can 100% say, there were never romantic feelings for me involved. It was purely friendship and nothing more. I thought it was the same for him too. But one of my flaws growing up and even now was always me being very naive about everything. So my time staying with him was up, and I was ready to go home. I hopped on my plane, said my goodbyes, and when I turn my phone on, I see that he's sent me a long confession letter saying that he's loved me for years, even since I was younger. In my culture, some people say it's okay to marry your cousin, which I totally do not agree with. Most of the younger generation generally stays away from this practice. There are some age gap relationships as well, but again, I am against those and feel gross thinking about them. Just reading his confession, it makes me feel, I don't know, sick, almost violated. He was so much older than me, as well as a family member. And I feel deceived as well. If I had known this beforehand, I don't think I would have stayed with him at all. I don't know what to say to him, if anything. I was hoping to go back and visit him again, especially because he is taking care of one of my pets for me, but now I feel really uncomfortable. I'm sitting in the airport during my layover with this sick feeling in my stomach. A part of me blames myself for not seeing this earlier and letting myself get into this situation. What do I say or do next? Edit, for clarity, my cousin did say that he understands the family thing is weird. And he did say that he knows I have no romantic feelings towards him. I guess I'm just confused on what to say to him and how to approach it. To me, if it was clear to him how I felt and if he knew it would make me uncomfortable, why would he still say that to me? Trust yourself. I feel the same you do, though I am not really part of a culture that frowns upon second cousins getting together in a romantic fashion. However, your gut feeling and the age difference, which you disliked and which I personally perceive as grooming even if he didn't premeditate it, tells me you should just keep an appropriate distance from the dude and get on with your life. Really don't worry about it. You do you. Ignore the creepy 34-year-old second cousin. You should get your pet back. Question, so you've been friends since you were 8 ninths and he was 17 eighteenths. How were you friends first before realizing you were second cousins? Dude has been creeping on you since you were a child and he was close to being an adult. That's gross AF, and you need to stay clear of him. Edit, hey up, just had a thought. Was your second cousin the one to strike up a friendship first when you were 8 ninths and he was 17 eighteenths? Because I have the distinct feeling that he probably did, which means he was seeking you out from when you were a child. Be very clear that he has zero chance. Second cousins getting freaky used to be a normal thing everywhere. Even for U.S. presidents up until just after the start of last century. It is the norm in other foreign cultures if you are from the U.S. originally. There is no other way than to shut it down immediately and clearly. No tiptoeing. Shut his ass down if you are not okay with this. Do not expose to family or make it public as of now. If he won't back down, tell his parents and your parents. If he doesn't back down after that, tell the aunts, uncles and his siblings and start making him view you as a toxic no-go. I would be very firm in letting him know that he made you feel uncomfortable and that you find his advances inappropriate. 
Fucking hell. Call that sick fuck out. Show your family. This is not okay. Who knows who else in your family he could have tried this on. This is predatory. I don't give a fuck if it's a blood relative. That's not an excuse to not be exposed for their fuckery. How is this predatory? Op is 25 and the guy didn't once do anything to make Op feel uncomfortable. He hid his feelings so well, and behaved appropriately enough around her, that she never once suspected he had feelings at all. Predators don't groom people with a long text message lol. Yes it's weird 100%. And Op has every right to feel put off by this, and is totally justified in never seeing him again if that's what she wants. But calling this guy a predator is one step too far. He's 9 years older than you so if you met him when you were 8 to 9 he was 17 to 18 years old. There's never been a time where his having feelings for you wasn't inappropriate and perverted because he was an adult at 18 when you weren't even 10 years old. That's gross. Do not contact him. That's really awkward for you and I can appreciate many of us have people we aren't interested in because we've known them so long. The cousin thing is a little odd, but I have to say the age thing isn't predatory. I married my husband at 25 when he was 36, it's not weird at all once you're over 18. Just try to politely let him know that he's like a brother to you and you're not interested. He hasn't behaved inappropriately and will hopefully respect what you say. Roll fucking tide. There's 7 billion people in this world. You don't need to get with a relative. Girl that's gross. This is disgusting honestly. When did he start having these romantic feelings for you? When you were 9 and he was 18. When you were 12 and he was 21. When you were 17 and he was nearing 30. He's creepy and gross. Forget the fact that you guys are distant cousins, this dude is a pedophile. You shouldn't blame yourself for this you met him when you were child and he basically felt like an older brother to you. He is the one who wants to pervert the relationship. I had something similar happen to me as a child and my extremely older cousin was friends with me. I blamed myself for not seeing the signs but how could I? I was 5 to 7. Even after all these years there was no way you would have known that your cousin had feelings for you if he didn't tell you and you did nothing wrong so that feel guilty about anything. I mean it's weird that you guys are family and wrong. And so is the age gap of nearly 10 years. I am telling you that you can't justify dating someone like that under any circumstances. Second cousin isn't distant. That guy has issues. I'd get away and stay away. Sixth cousin is distant. Nine years isn't that big a gap for age though really. Emery Connery was an Instagram fitness model whose cousin killed her over unrequited love. I'm not saying every case is like this but I would at least tell someone you trust and probably not be around him alone. Hopefully he doesn't bring it up again. How do girls do that? Okay he was your cousin so I guess you're in the clear. Dude isn't entitled to have a relationship with you. Just because he did all that stuff for you and you for him don't mean jack shit cause y'all were cousins so it's family stuff. Ignore the dude. Weird fact Queen Elizabeth's courting began when she was 13 by a 19-year-old guy. You need to talk to him and make it very clear that you are not interested. This has probably been eating away at him for a while and decided to take a chance or he would always wonder. Don't be angry at someone for loving you. You might just be a really great person. But if he continues to make you feel uncomfortable after your talk then I would cut contact. It's important to communicate how you feel and what you expect from this point on. At some point he must have an adult in love with a child. That's all kinds of wrong. He knows that it's weird and that you most likely don't feel the same way. Which means he told you his feelings out of purely selfish reasons. He's a decade older than you and your relative. He was supposed to make you feel safe. The environment you were in was meant to feel familial and safe. He romanticized you, sexualized you, violated that environment because he couldn't control himself and snap himself out of it. Grab your pet and run. I can't be certain, but he likely said that confession to you to be honest with you. If he had not, you would have maybe found out during your stay and from how you speak about him, he wouldn't want to make you uncomfortable. Now you have time to process all of this and at the very least he is respectful enough to give you space, like waiting until you left. For the people claiming that you are being groomed by him, I highly doubt that. 
If he groomed you at a young age, then you would not have second-guessed the idea of being with him and not being grossed out by his message. Lastly, if he really wanted to make you uncomfortable, then he would have acted out on his feelings for you, while you lived with him. Don't mistake honest intentions for creepy intentions. So, when you first met he would have been 17 18 How did you two first meet? That seems very weird. Yeah I am not sure I could get past this. I'm sorry. I would be honest but not cruel and pull yourself out of his life. Florida is weird, man. I understand how uncomfortable you must be feeling since he had these feelings for you from when you were kids and you have always seen him as a friend family. Not having any romantic feelings for him is enough reason to turn him down, regardless of whether he is family or not. Staying away from him wouldn't help him get rid of the feelings he has for you, but I think time and space will allow him to move on from his feelings, and will also enable you to process this situation. Maybe he just felt the need to tell you because he just wanted to be honest it's possible maybe his feelings are really genuine too. Be kind to the poor guy, I mean he didn't attack you or anything. He literally just told you he's in love. It's difficult all round. He felt like he had to say it. If there was even a small chance that you felt the same way. Don't be creeped out by it if he's not a creepy person. If he can understand that you don't have feelings for him, then maybe you can resume your friendship. But you need to be kind and mature about it, and you need to have a conversation. Don't make it into a big deal, and don't let it ruin your friendship. Alabama. I wouldn't cut him out. He's just poured his heart out, and from what I read he has always been respectful and waited until you are an adult to tell you. He told you he knows you don't feel then same way about him. Once you have calmed down I would reply and say I'm flattered but sorry I do not feel the same way about you. You have always been a great friend and I cherish that friendship but that's all we can ever be, friends. Don't throw away something you have always enjoyed, wait a while and then talk to him. He's probably sitting at home right feeling just as sick in the stomach as you are. Simple. He confessed how he feels towards you. Now you have to confess how you feel back. Tell him you see him as a brother and always did then apologies for rejecting him. Then slowly make up with him and things won't be awkward between you. No matter what you do finish the conversation between you and him fully because if you don't you're going to end up arguing over this again. Just tell him how you feel in a very nice way. Try to write it down and read it and memorize it. Just make sure what you say doesn't hurt him. I'm sorry you're dealing with this awkward situation. I also understand that you're having a range of emotions about what's going on, right now. I don't think it's fair to label the guy as a deceiver, though. He has the right to his feelings and he was always respectful towards you. What I will say is that his timing wasn't the best. On top of being related, albeit distantly, you're also just coming out of a relationship that ended badly. You say you've always been yourself around him so be that way, now. Tell him what you're feeling including that you're not interested in him romantically in any way. If you two can go back to being friends and cousins, great. If he feels it's too much for him to maintain, you've got to put some distance between you, for both your sakes. Yikes. Tell him in all honesty, you see him as a brother. No need to explain more. Your feelings certainly are valid and very understandable. To answer your question, why would he say this if he knew I didn't reciprocate? He may have felt it necessary for his own growth to admit it and say it. Which, this of course leaves aside all the other shall we call it, areas of potential growth, for him. That being said, this seems a pretty tough situation. It would make sense if you put silence and distance between the two of you. I think we have started everything on the wrong footing. What Op needs to do right now is discuss the text with her sister. If he is the sort of guy he would have tried it on with her too. Her sister's experience with him will answer a lot of questions for her. Also most people we think are cousins are not blood relatives as they happen to be children of friends of the family who automatically become relatives through the years. There is a lot of investigation to be done. Afterwards she can write back to him with facts. Let's not jump to conclusions and damage a lifetime friendship. It probably wasn't clear to him how you felt. He may have said he knows you don't have feelings as a way to minimize his vulnerability and is hoping you will say that he is wrong and that you do have romantic feelings for him. 
I don't like where the general consensus is going, calling him names and whatnot. I thought being in love was a socially accepted form of craziness. If you are grossed out by his confession just let him know. I am sorry but both the age gap and the fact that we are second cousins make it impossible for me to return your feelings. I hope you will find the right woman out there. Tell him he's creepy then block him on everything. He definitely has a mental problem. Stay away as far away as you can. Just say that you're family and that you're not feeling the same. It ain't your fault he has a crush on you, and it ain't his fault either. Don't blame yourself and don't feel violated, like what the fuck if he hasn't done anything then why do you feel violated? And at the same time like WTF, if you haven't done anything then why do you feel like you're to blame? He's 34 not 10 he can probably take the rejection just be honest. Tell your cousin, I won't judge you for this if you give my dog back and never mention it again. You should text him, he deserves a response to his letter and it's the right thing. You should be very calm and say that he's right and you don't reciprocate but he has not less value in your opinion because of that, that he's a great person but you are not the right person for him. Probably his feelings are not real, I mean probably due to his social awkwardness he thinks you are perfect because you are one of the few people he trusts and you understand him because you're, weird, you should reassure him that he can find someone that is better suited than you and generally say that. Late to the party but I would tell him that I can't date now because I am focusing on myself or some other bullshit to throw him off your trail for the time being. Then I would bring another person with me to visit him to retrieve my pet. Afterwards I would slowly start to ghost him until we ended up no contact. The reason I say this is because I hate confrontations and I wouldn't want my pet to be used as a tool against me. If cousin had no leverage, I would tell Op to tell him what she thought of this situation but right now he has too much power over her because of her pet. Your family member is demented. Stay far far away. Just a nerdy guy that had finally the guts to let out his feelings and told her. Obviously he is not a creep otherwise she knew for a long time. It's sad it backfires so bad at him. You have always trusted him, so he never did any harm. Falling in love just happens sometimes. And sometimes is best to not tell anyone, in this case. He will get over it, be polite about it, and hopefully you can trust him again. Once again, I don't think he meant any harm and was hoping you feel the same. What kind of inbred incestual cockamamie bullshit is this? Gross. I don't think he was trying to mislead you, he was probably just too scared to tell you before you went to live with him. Other than that, just go with your gut. Tell him no, you don't have any obligation to do otherwise. Is this India? This is India, isn't it? Why not try it out? There are people who can't help but feel what they feel. Whatever the situation is doesn't mean the feelings are not valid unless they are lying. Hopefully you can communicate your feelings with him as well and you both come out with a better understanding of each other. As friends, relatives or even strangers. Sounds like the poor lad needed to get his truth out. As long as you let him know you feel it's inappropriate and you are not comfortable with it, I think you have nothing to be worried about. He sounds like he will respect your boundaries especially since he hosted you and no transgressions were made.